Hello, welcome to lesson 6, Operators in C Sharp, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. In the last session, we learnt what is assignment operator, arithmetic, relational and the logical operator. Right now, we will explore the rest 4. They are short circuit logical operators, bitwise operator, shift operator and finally the ternary operator. We'll, right now, we will look into short circuit logical operator. Short circuit logical operators are the special versions of the logical operator AND and OR. The only difference between the short circuit logical operator and the logical operator is that logical operator evaluates both the operands but the short circuit logical operator evaluates the second operand only when necessary. This is the main difference between them. To understand that we will jump into coding. I will fire up the visual studio and I have code for that. I have written the code for that and the project name is short circuit, log uh, short circuit operator and I have set it as startup project. Here I have initialized two variables called n and d and of data type int and in the third, second and third statement I have assigned a value to them 10 and 2, 10 to 10, 10 to n and 2 to d. Now what I am trying to do here is, I will just comment out these lines by pressing the comment button in the Visual Studio Designer and I will uncomment this and this also. Now what I am trying to do here is I am trying to show the efficiency of short circuit logical operator. I have initialized the values and I have stored the values to the variables. In the next line I am calling the if-else loop. Here in the if-else uh, what I have done is I am having two operands telling that d not equal to 0 and the short circuit logical operator and n modulus d output of that comparing it with 0 if this goes fine it, it will tell that d is factor of n the first operand what it is first point first item what it tells is d that is 2 not equal to 0 s yes, it is true and short circuit logical operator evaluates then 2 that is 10 modulus 2 is the remainder is 0 yes it is true and finally you will get that d that is 2 is a factor of 10 now we'll run the program to get the output. It is just building the program and the output is as expected 2 is factor of n. Now I'll just comment the statements. Control. I'm using the button in the Visual Studio Designer to comment this and now I'm setting the value of d to 0. Initially it was d is equal to 2. Now I'm setting it to d equals 0. Now I'm uncommenting the below lines. What I am trying to do, I am trying to change, I'm, what I am trying to do here is, I'm, I change the value of d to 0 and I am using the if loop, here I am verifying the usage of short circuit logical operator that d not equal to 0, this condition fails. Now the short circuit logical operator and will not evaluate the second operand. That is the usage of short circuit logical operator since it, it will improve the program efficiency and your application performance also. So here is the power of short circuit logical operator. When I run this, it throws me a, it does not give me any output. Why? Because the condition fails at the first operand only and is not and it is not going to evaluate the second one. Okay. Now we'll comment out this also. Now I'll just uncomment the below lines. Here what I'm trying to do, I am trying to use the traditional logical AND instead of using the short circuit logical operator AND. Now we'll feel the difference what is what is going to happen. Now when I compile this, when I run this program, it will throw me an error telling that it, uh, it handled an exception called system dot divide by zero exception. This type of things can be handled only by short circuit logical operator. Right now we'll jump into presentation back. Bitwise operator. What are these bitwise operators? Bitwise operators and or exclusive or and not. They perform the same operation as their Boolean logic equivalents described earlier. The difference is bitwise operators work on bit by bit basis. To understand that we'll jump into coding. I'm having a project for that bitwise I'm setting to start a project set a start a project 
why I'm doing this, why I'm setting the startup project because in my solution I'm having multiple projects to run the selected project I want to set it as set a startup project now when I compile this program instead of taking the other projects it will compile the selected one now I'm opening the program of bitwise operator here is the program for that what I've done here is I'm having a variable called num and here I'm having u short what I've done here is I'm having a variable called num and the other piece u short and I've assigned the value called value 10 to num variable and I'm having two if loops here when I run this program the output what I get is 11 is odd why this happens because and in the if statement the value of num is in the if statement you can observe here in the if statements the value of num is ended with 1 and in this is an example of bitwise operator it works on bit by bit basis if the bit 0 in num is set then the result of num handed with 1 is 1 only otherwise the result will be 0 that is if can succeed only if the number is odd okay. right now we'll jump back into presentation and we'll see the next operator shift operator sorry the next operator is shift operator to understand this we'll jump into coding and in C sharp we can shift the bits that compromise an integer value to the left or to the left right by a specified amount it means that in C sharp we, are, we have an option to shift an integer value bit uh, to the left or right by using the shift operator to understand that we'll jump into coding I'm having a program for that this is a shift operator I'm setting it as set a startup project and opening the respective program here I've initialized a variable called n of type int and any and the value assigned to n is 10 and here we are going to explain in this in this program I'm going to explain how the shift operators work now my value of initial value of n is 10 now n is equal to n this is the left shift operator 1 what it is going to do it is going to shift bit by 1 now initial value of 10 is, uh, n is 10 now when I am going to shift it by 1 that is 1 bit it is multiplying by 2 when I shift it left by 1 bit it is going to multiply by 2 and the output is 20 10 into 2 that is the value of n and into 2 it is 20 and when I do it for two uh, left shift for two times then the value of n is previous value that is 20 into 4 80 similarly when I do it for division right I'll do it for division by shifting it right side by one one bit then the value of n previously was 80 80 by 20 that is 40 here the value of n is 40 right now the value of n is 40 here and now again I'll shift the bits the previous value by two bits to the right now what will happen is the previous value of n will be taken that is 8 40 two bits to the right means divided by 4 that it will get 10 as output and now I'm in I'm, what I'm trying to do here is I'm setting the value of n to 10 now 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 what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to shift the value of n to the left by 30 bits now the output what we get is negative value we'll check that we'll run the program by pressing ctrl f5 here is the value of n now here the value of n is 10 that is the initial value of n is 10 and the value of n after n is equal to n into 2 that means now the initial value of n was 10 now later what we did was we shifted the value of n by left by one bit means it multiplied the previous value of n by 2 into 2 that is 20 similarly 20 into by 2 uh, two bits to the left 4 80 similarly we divided and finally we change the initialize the value again to 10 and the value of n after left shifting 30 places now what I have done is initially the value of 10 was the respective bit in the, in the program what I have done is I have taken the 10 and I have shifted it to left after 30 places 
and therefore it gave me a negative value we can we can notice here that the last line in the output that is this negative value uh, and the value of 10 is left shifted 30 times left shifted 30 times the information is lost because bits are shifted out of the range of an integer that is the reason it provides you this this tells us that we must be careful while using the shift operator to multiply or divide a value by 2 okay now we'll jump back into presentation finally is the ternary operator what is ternary operator we'll see in the presentation ternary operator the single question mark operator is often often used to replace certain types of if then else construction means what if in your program you are having if else type of loops and that type of work can be handled by the ternary operator because why it is called ternary operator because it requires the three operands and the general form is as below expression one it evaluates the expression one and based on the result of expression one it assigns value two expression two and the expression three that is whether where expression one is a boolean expression and expression two and expression three are the expressions the value of expression is determined like this first is expression one is evaluated this is evaluated if it is true if the expression one is true then expression two is validated and becomes the value of the entire ex expression and if expression one goes false then the expression three is evaluated and its value becomes the value of the expression to understand this we'll jump into coding and here is a project for ternary operator i am setting it as startup set as startup project and i am opening the program in it this is the program what we are trying to do here is first i have initialized a variable called number and i have assigned a value 7 to it and its data type is integer now i want to check whether number is equal to 7 or not okay and i am initializing a boolean variable number equal to 7 and data type is bool now using if else we'll check whether number is equal to 7 or not okay if number the respective thing i'm passing i'm comparing it with the value 7 if it is true then it provide me the output as true and if it is false it provide me the output as, as false now when i run this program yes the number is equal to 7 is true why because whatever the value I assigned to number variable is when it is compared with the 7 it is true so it is giving me number equal to 7 is true now instead of writing this lengthy code this can this can be overridden by the ternary operator where it can write the code in a single line how to do that I'll just comment out these things by pressing a comment button in the Visual Studio Designer now I'll uncomment the above statement here what I'm trying to do here is I'm using the ternary operator expression here the bool and the variable is number equal to 7 is equal to the respective number and comparing it with the value 7 and the question mark we are verifying the expression and if it is true means the number equal to 7 is equal to this number and the entire thing is compared with the value 7 now it is true it will assign this first first expression and if it is false if it, if the 7 does not matches with this 7 whatever the value we gave 7 does not matches with the compared value 7 it gives me the false value now when we run this program the output is as previous it gave us the same output it's giving now number is equal to 7 is true Thank you. Subscribe below to Ankh Pro Training.